okay guys welcome to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet now we are going to solve these two problems uh, the first problem says that determine the magnitudes of the projected components of force f acting along the x and y axis and the second problem says that determine the magnitude of the projected component of force f 300 newton acting along line oa so first of all we have to find the x and y component of that force f so for that we have to represent this force f as a cartesian vector so the force has a magnitude of 300 newton and it is making 30 degrees with with this line which is parallel to the y axis so if we resolve this force if we draw its component so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction and this component is parallel with the y axis so from this we can conclude that this is f of y component and if we consider this gray triangle so this 300 newton force is making 30 degree with the f y component so this means that f y is the cos component of that 300 newton so this is 300 cos of 30 degrees and similarly if if i draw this component so this component is parallel to the xz plane this is parallel to the xz plane right so we can say that we can call this that f of xz component and this f of xz component will be the sine component if we consider this triangle so this is 300 uh, sine of 30 degrees let me write it like this so this is 300 sine of 30 degrees now if if we look into this uh, whole assembly from this side then we will be able to see this uh, see this whole assembly like this right so let's say if this is the side view so then the x axis will be the, like this the z axis will be like this and this will be here we will have that point o and here we will have that point a and the f of x z component is parallel to the to this plane right it is acting like this so this means that uh, this f of x z component if we represent that f of x z component so it will be acting parallel to this line this will be parallel to this right so let me write that this is that f of x z this is f of x z and it is lying in the x z plane so if this is that point a and if i draw a a uh, vertical line here so if this f of x z is parallel to this and if this is making 30 degrees with the vertical then this f of x z is also making 30 degrees with the vertical so now this we can resolve this f of x z into its components we will have one component will be acting in this direction so this component is acting in the x direction but in the negative x so we can write that this is the uh, f of x component but in the negative x direction and it will have one component which will be acting in this direction this one will be the f of z component it is acting in the positive z direction now if i represent those components so this will be this is the f of x z component and we will have one component which will be acting parallel to the x axis this one will be f of x and we will have one component which will be per parallel to that f of z axis uh, this z axis so this is f of z so now we can write that f is a cartesian vector so we can write that f of x and if this is 30 degrees then f of z is we can write that f of z is f of x z cos of 30 degrees and f of x is f of x z sine of 30 degrees and this is f of x z right so we can write that this is f of x i and it is acting in the negative i direction this is our positive x this is the ne negative x so we will write minus then the f of y component so this is f of y component which is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus and f of y has a magnitude of uh, 300 cos of 30 degrees this is in the positive j and this is f of z and f of z is f of x z cos of 30 that is plus f of x uh, let me write this as f of z in the positive k and we can write that f of x is uh, f of x z sine of 30 degrees and this is plus this is in the negative i then this is 300 cos of 30 degrees in the positive j 
plus f of z is f of x z cos of 30 cos of 30 and this is in the positive key so first of all let me find this f of x z so f of x z is 300 uh, sine of 30 so this is 150 so now this is 150 and this is 150 so now we can write that this is minus 150 sine of 30 so 150 sine of 30 will be 75 this is minus 75 i plus 300 cos of 30 300 cos of 30 this is 259.80 so we can say that it is approximately 260 and this will be 150 150 cos of 30 this is 129.90 so it is approximately 130 this is 130 k and the units will be in newton so now in this problem you were asked to find the magnitude of the projected components along the x and y axis so now if we take the dot product of this force f with the i so that will give us the unit vector along i so that is i and that will give us the magnitude of the force f along the x axis so that will be f of x and if we write this force f that is minus 75 i plus 260 j plus 130 k dot product with i so that will give us minus 75 into 1 so that is minus 75 i dot i is 1 and now i dot j is 0 so 260 into 0 plus 130 into 0 so this will become 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 so we will be left with the uh, f of x component and the minus signs tells us that uh, the f of x has a magnitude of 75 but the negative sign tells us that it is acting in the negative x direction so this is f of x there is no need to take the dot product so we can directly say that the magnitude of f of x is 75 uh, this is that Cartesian uh, vector representation of that force f and similarly you are asked to find the magnitude of the projected component of the force f along the y axis so along the y axis the magnitude is that 260 so this is 260 this is 75 newton and this is 260 newton so this is the answer for problem 2136 now in problem 2137 you are asked to determine the projected component of force f acting along line oa so we can write that the component of force f the component of force f which is acting along the oa line so let's say that this is f oa magnitude this will be equal to the dot product of force f with the unit vector from o to a so now we can write that this is we know the cartesian vector uh, representation of that force f and we need to find the position vector from o to a so the position vector from o to a is always equal to uh, the unit vector from o to a is always equal to the position vector from o to a divided by its magnitude and now the position vector from o to a is like this so to write the position vector from o to a we have to uh, move we have to reach that point a from o right so we need to travel uh, along the x y and z axis to reach that point a so to reach that point a we need to travel this 300 mm distance in the positive y direction so i can write that that will be uh, 300 or in meters 300 divided by 3 is 0.3 so this is 0.3 meters and this is 0.3 and this is 0.3 remember so now in the positive j direction we need to travel 0.3 so i will write plus 0.3 j and then in the negative x we need to move this 300 meters distance but we need to travel some more distance this distance right so this from here to here this is 0.3 meters and then to reach that point a we need to travel this further distance and we can find that distance by using this triangle so this 
this o a uh, let's say that this point is let's say point p so this a p length is 0.3 and we have this 30 degree angle so if this is 30 degree angles then this is 0 0.3 sine of 30 degrees and this is 0 0.3 cos of 30 degrees since if this is 30 then this is 30 degree angle as well both of these angles are alternate angles then this is the cos component this is the sine component so uh, to reach that point a we need to move 0.3 plus 0.3 sine of 30 degrees in the negative x direction this is the positive x so we need to move this distance in the negative x so 0.3 let me find 0.3 plus 0.3 uh, sine of 30 so this is 0 0.45 so we need to move 0 0.45 distance in the negative x direction so i will write 0 0.45 i in the negative i direction and similarly we need to travel this distance which is 0 0.3 cos of 30 degrees in parallel to the z axis so that is 0 0.3 cos of 30 so this gives me 0 0.259 or we can say that it is 0 0.26 so plus 0 0.26 along the positive k direction and now its magnitude will be uh, we can write it is 0 0.45 square plus 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.26 square under the square root so this will be the unit vector from o to a so now we have to find that magnitude and magnitude is uh, 0 0.45 square plus 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.26 square so this gives us 0 0.6 right so this whole magnitude is 0 0.6 so this is 0 0.6 so now we can write this as 1 divided by 0 0.6 minus 0 0.45 i plus 0 0.3 j plus 0 0.26 k so now we need to take the dot product so we know the cartesian vector representation of that force f which is minus 75 i plus 260j plus 130k and dot product with this is 1 divided by 0 0.6 minus 0 0.45 i plus 0 0.3 j plus 0 0.26 k so this is f o a the magnitude of the component force f along o a so we can write this as 1 divided by 0 0.6 and now we can multiply i with i j with j and k with k so that is minus 75 into minus so minus into minus will become plus and 75 into 0 0.45 plus 260 into 0.3 j dot j is 1 plus 130 into 0 0.26 so this will be the dot product so now we can find it uh, so that is uh, 75 into 0 0.45 plus 260 into 0 0.3 plus 130 into 0 0.26 and this gives me uh, 145.55 and we need to divide by 0 0.6 so divided by 0 0.6 so this is 242.58 so the magnitude of the component of force f along oa is 242.58 242.58 newtons so this is the solution of uh, the second problem which asks us to determine the magnitude of the projected component of force f acting along oa so that has a magnitude of 242.58 newtons so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning uh, let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet also like this video if, if it helps in your learning